In this lecture, we are going to see two image compression plugins to compress the images that you have on your server. Both the plugins that we are going to see are free image compression plugins. First, go to plugins and then select add new. On the search bar, search for compress images. Smash image compression and optimization plugin, short pixel plugin and image file plugin are all equally good free plugins but they also have premium plugins that's why these free plugins come with a set of limitations for example this smush plugin comes with a maximum size of 1 MB per image limitation sort pixel gives you 100 mb per month whereas imageify gives you 25 mb per month whereas this compress jpg and png images from tiny png gives you 500 image compressions per month but technically for page speed this tiny PNG plugin offers the best image compression possible. The next best option is EWW Image Optimizer. Though it doesn't offer the maximum image compression like the tiny PNG plugin, this offers the maximum customizability in case you need to keep the EXIF data or EXIF data so let's see how to install and configure both these plugins that is tiny png and e w image optimizer let's install both these plugins but activate compress jpg and png images plugin first in the plugins page scroll down come to settings under Compress JPG and PNG images plugin. Since I have already installed and registered an account, this box appears a bit different for me. You will get two options when you install for the first time that is, your name and email to register an account or login. When you enter your name and email and click register, then you will get this box displayed. After that, you need to activate your account and enter the API key. Now, let me refresh the page after activation. So, you don't need to go to their website and enter the API key manually. It's all automatic and so easy to configure. Now, coming to the actual configuration of the plugin itself, you will get three image sizes one is thumbnail then medium and then large size you can even change the preset size of these images or leave it to wordpress defaults let your files be organized into month and year based folders now here comes the file compression section most of the other free plugins like WP Smush or Sort Pixel or Imageify lacks this most essential feature in their free version that is to resize and compress the original image. Whereas this tiny PNG plugin offers you to compress the original image. If you want to resize and then compress the original image, then you can check this checkbox where you can give maximum width or height for the resized original image. As you select more options, the number of images that can be compressed will get reduced because each of these options generate one more image which leads to multiple image compression for each image you upload. And that's why the number of images that can be compressed for each month gets reduced. 
by default only these options are necessary but based on the theme you use you may need to choose some other options like this once you have selected all these options click save changes then go to media and then bulk optimization alternatively you can go to plugins and choose bulk optimization under compressed jpg and png images from tiny png you will get details of the total uploaded images and the uncompressed images to compress all your images click on start bulk optimization this plugin compresses images by uploading them to its own server after that it compresses and then downloads those images to your server back so if you care about your privacy or if you are so conscious about the images moving from your server to some third party server then you may need to use the next plugin that is a triple w image optimizer now the image compression process has got completed and you can easily notice that the compression has saved around 25% but the interesting point here is already all these images are compressed using wp schmas plugin so even after that this tiny png plugin could give 25% savings that's why i recommend this plugin for ease of use and the best page speed so for most of the users this plugin will fit their need but there will be some who would need further customizability rather than optimization for them go to plugins let me deactivate this plugin because you don't need both the plugins at a time you just need to use either compress jpg and png images plugin or e triple w image optimizer plugin not both so now let me activate this plugin let's go to settings before using this plugin you need to see the plugin status which should display all clear status if this signal is not displaying for you then you cannot use this plugin because your server is missing some essential features for image compression coming to the basic settings you don't need to use cloud optimization you can just use your own server optimization now let's come down to jpg optimization level where you can only choose lossless compression whereas under tiny png plugin it compressed all the images with lossy compression that's why it was able to get the additional 25% savings compared to lossless compression whereas in png optimization level you can go for lossy compression even with a free edition of this e triple w image optimizer now click save changes and then let's move on to advanced settings the customizability of this plugin starts from this advanced settings tab for example you can schedule the optimization you can opt to include media library folders or you can opt to ignore some folders check this allow resizing of existing media library images to resize all the existing images similar to tiny png plugin here also for each image you upload a thumbnail medium a medium large a large images are created by default and additional two images are created because of the theme i'm using that is 2017 theme from wordpress as i said before you may exclude full size images from metadata removal or other options like to skip small images or to skip large 
PNG images, etc. Under conversion settings, you may opt to delete the original images after successful conversion. This will help you to free up your server space. Though this plugin offers you to convert JPG to PNG or PNG to JPG, these conversions will take a lot of CPU resources, so use them carefully. Coming to web page settings, when you check this checkbox, the JPG or PNG files will be converted to another format called WebP. But the original files are not deleted because when the user's browser doesn't support this WebP format, then JPG or PNG files are served. As said before, this plugin is for advanced users who want more customizability. So for most users, I just recommend them to use Compress JPG and PNG Images plugin to compress all your images on your website. In the next lecture, let's see how to add a free image CDN service in your website.